welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Leah and I am all about spending less and creating more and sharing with you how you can do the same thing in your kitchen. Are you ready to help me grocery shop? Yes, I can. All right, let's go. <laughs> we are gonna go into our grocery outlet and see if we can find some good deals on pantry staples and maybe some frozen chicken, things like that. You ready? Uh-huh. Yeah, what do you wanna buy? Um, I wanna buy bubble gum. Bubble gum, okay. What do you hope they have? Uh, I hope they have a book that has a lock on it and then I can... I didn't mean to! They have this kind of mac and cheese, Wes. That's cool. You like it? I've never seen books at this place. It's so funny. I literally just told Weston they don't have books. I've never okay. seen them here. Before moving to Tennessee, I didn't even realize that a grocery outlet store even existed. So if you've been having trouble finding one in your area, I would actually recommend Googling not just grocery outlet, but also try something like food liquidator or salvage grocery and see if anything pulls up. And also asking your local grocery store managers if they happen to sell food off to a liquidator or outlet place like that because then that might give you an idea of where something like this is actually located relatively close to you. Hey, Malin, they have your unicorns. Oh, Malin. Hey. Malin, look what mommy found. Oh my gosh, Dakota's gonna be so excited. Yeah. All right, I think we have plenty. You think so? <laughs> yeah, we're loaded. <laughs> you want, this one's raspberry. The deals at the grocery outlet were so amazing. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be restocking my freezer now with quite a few awesome things. Got the kids their lunch. Ready to go in? We're gonna to go to Kroger? Uh-huh, I like that. And what? I like that. You're gonna take your french fries with you? Uh-huh. Okay. I still need some things like peanut butter, lots of produce, milk, things like that. So we'll see if we can get a good deal on some of those things. For our birthday, I'm gonna do a lemon strawberry cake. So I think I'm going to buy two packs of strawberries. I need the money. I would open it. Okay. What do you think? Delicious. <laughs> Here we need the lemons for the lemon cake. One of my favorite ways to save money on groceries is to purchase the clearance produce items. And those can be scattered all throughout your produce section or in a specific bin or rack that your store sets aside. So if you don't see this, maybe just ask a manager if there's ever a day that they have these more on hand or if they happen to discount things based on imperfections. You just never know and it's always worth it to ask. And we do still have some staples that I like to purchase every week, whether they're on sale or not. Raspberries tend to be one of them because it's such an easy way to get extra fiber. They have these here. I don't even see the price. I uh, don't know what they cost, but I know I bought these from Costco before in a big box and they are so good. I love these. I need to get some ground beef for our birthday party. We're gonna have a nacho bar. So we need two of those. What's that, mommy? What's that? The yellow thing? 
can get these while they're on clearance. Bread is one item I'm pretty particular on brand, but things like peanut butter is an easy way to save money by getting the store brand. The honey I usually like to get from Costco, but I am not a name brand snob when it comes to condiments. Bottom line, we all have our preferences, but I find if I'm able to save using generic on certain items, it makes me feel a little bit better about splurging on other things. I am back from the grocery store times two with this huge haul and I spent way more than I had anticipated but I also stocked up on some things that I won't have to buy for quite a while. I'm so excited to share with you these deals. All right I know you all were with me in the store but go ahead and take a guess what you think all of this costs. Let me go back over here. Do you see this? Take a guess at what you think all of this the total was for all of this. And then of course, all of our produce as well, some dairy, these, oh my gosh. Okay, so You're taking to start over here with all of the meat so I can get that put away. This roast beef is exactly what Dakota has been requesting. He loves this and $3.99 is half off. So I went ahead and got four of those. They have so many of these. You guys, I could have bought 15 of them and still left a ton at the store. They're already in their little packages like this. So I can take these and put them into the freezer to take up less space. So it's probably what I'm gonna do with a couple of them. Now, when you're grocery shopping at an outlet store or you're buying things on clearance, you always, always wanna make sure you're checking the dates. So this is February 27th. We're at the very start of February. So we have time to go through probably two of these. The other two are going to go into the freezer, but they defrost really well. So if you're in doubt, just toss them in the freezer and whenever you're ready for them, like the night before, just stick it in your fridge and it'll be great. So same thing with this pepperoni. Look at this y'all, $3.99, not for one, but for two of these. And after I left the discount store, I went to Kroger. They sell one pound at Kroger for $9.99, I think it was. I was just there after I left the discount store. So I got not one, but two pounds for $3.99, which is insane. They had boxes and boxes of this stuff. They had smaller packages. They had the minis. They had they had so many pepperoni. It was insane. Even going to Costco, you're going to pay at sale price, I think like $8 for this whole two pounds. So to get that, like that price is insane. It's incredible. You know, Malin goes through this like crazy, but it will still take her forever. I don't think we're going to have to buy pepperoni for months and months. So I'm going to stick these into the freezer. I'll leave one pound in the fridge for her. This deli meat was also an amazing deal. $1.79 for nine ounces. Definitely got enough for my family without going crazy and stocking up my, I mean, I only have so much freezer space, um, but plenty of that stuff left for other people. This is a turkey breast and I thought it looked pretty decent. So right there, checking the best buy date, March 3rd. We definitely have plenty of time. I think between Weston and I, we will use all of this by then, but just in case, I know I can freeze some, and I can freeze it directly in this package. I don't have to take it out, but you can if you bought like way more and you couldn't use it very quickly, you could put it into a Ziploc, seal it off, like get all the air out as much as possible, but we will be fine. These are already vacuum sealed and last forever in the freezer, and I was so excited to find the less fat version of our little favorite Smokies. So turkey little smokies, $1.99 for 14 ounces. You know I had to get some of those, about four packs of those. They make amazing little snacks and lunches, party foods. This is something new to me. I don't hardly ever buy pre-made stuff. Actually, I think the only time I buy pre-made things like this is when they're on clearance. So this is good until the 12th. So this is gonna be on our meal plan coming up soon. I think I'm gonna cook both of them for my family and serve it with rice. And then we'll probably have some leftover for a lunch the next day for somebody to take to work or school. So we'll see if we like that. But $1.99 for each of those is an incredible deal. I also picked up some ground beef for our birthday party. We're having a nacho bar. So I got this 80 lean. It was on sale for, I think, less than $4 a pound. And this was an amazing deal. I was so excited about this. This is going to be a great breakfast option as long as it tastes good. Um, but these are little egg bites. I didn't have to make them myself. I can barely buy eggs for that price. 32 egg bites for $2.99. 
That's incredible, and it's already baked, has all the ingredients. You can microwave them. I bet you can put them in an air fryer. Look at this. It has chicken sausage, eggs, milk, sweet potatoes, squash, kale, onions. So that is amazing. These are gonna be a really healthy option, convenient and inexpensive. Like seriously, I don't think I could have made these for that price. So amazing, got those of course. Dollar a bag on these spicy sweet potato fries. We love this brand, they are amazing. Every time we've made them, any, any flavor we've bought from them, they're great. Dakota likes Chipotle seasoned things. I'm not sure so much for myself, but he will probably like these more than anybody and it was worth it for $1. Got two bags of those. I also picked up some tortillas. I couldn't find the ones that we have to cook on the stove ourselves. Those are our favorite, but these are going to be fine. We'll use these for some tacos this coming week. We'll have them for some wraps and sandwiches. $1.29 for each bag. I was really excited. They actually were not in the clearance section and they were not with all of the regular tortillas. They put these in the refrigerator with the tortillas that you have to cook. That's the only reason why I even saw them. So also picked up some bread on clearance, $1.29. This is our favorite hum hamburger. This is our favorite hamburger bun. Well, mine at least. I think the rest of the family probably doesn't care, but I love these. So I got them for $1.29. We'll definitely have some burgers coming up in the next couple of weeks. If I don't want to use them fast enough, of course, I can always freeze them. And then my favorite white bread. The kids love to have peanut butter and jelly. I'll get toast in the morning, serve them toast with eggs. Puff pastry is expensive, you guys. We hardly ever use this stuff, but for $2.99, they had a huge stack of them. I thought I'll go ahead and get some, put it in my freezer, and I can use them for a fun recipe one day. On to our produce. I was really excited to find some good deals. Our 50-50 blend. I normally get just baby spinach if my preference, but this is a good deal. $1.88. Got cilantro for our tacos, tomatoes, jalapenos to make some pico, sweet potatoes. I put potatoes on my list. I would have been happy with white or sweet. So I went ahead and got these since they were on sale and they look really nice. They should still last a while. The zucchini was on sale as well. Anytime you see these bags, it's 99 cents at Kroger. So I got those. I also picked up some asparagus again. Our family loves this. I got three more mango. All of these lemons, I picked up six so I can use the zest and the juice. I'm making our birthday cake. Malin also wanted some grapes. She's been eating these already. These are the cotton candy, definitely a splurge, but it's fruit and I figured that's a good thing to splurge on, right? Bananas, I picked up two of those, one and a half of those, I guess. Two of the bags of cuties, 99 cents again for each of those. Three of the yellow onions. And then Dakota has told me he 100% prefers these fresh green beans over any other. So we got those. I also got some of the fresh broccoli and some organic iceberg lettuce. I just prefer the flavor of this better. But we'll be using this for our taco nights, especially when we have our nacho bar and friends are over. I picked up two packs of the raspberries. They're so amazing. We love those every day. And then two of the strawberry. Each of these is the one pound box. We're gonna be using these mostly for our birthday cake. Of course, you know I had to get Dakota's favorite coffee cream. He asked if I bought all of them. I said, I bought you three. They're $3.49 a piece. We're going to keep those in the fridge. I also picked up one of our fat-free Fairlife milks. I got a two pack of the butter. It was not on sale, but I needed some for our birthday cake and then we'll use the rest other times in baking, what have you. Sour cream for our tacos, our nacho bar. These protein bars are really good. They were on sale for 25 cents, which is amazing. So I bought five of those and then these, you guys, these are not a cheap protein bar. These are like candy bars. They taste amazing. I love them and for a dollar that's like half off so you keep these in your refrigerator I'm gonna freeze some of them keep some of them in my fridge but oh my gosh they're so good so I'll show you the information on them here you got 10 grams of fat in there 26 carbs and 14 grams of protein so definitely better than having a candy bar and you're getting protein at the same time so love those and moving on to all of our snacky things, condiments. Malin is most excited about her marshmallows. We're gonna have these when she gets up from her nap, she said. So we got these for $3.99, normally almost $6 at Walmart. And I don't even know if they have them right now. I think they still do, but they were out of stock online when I checked. So anyway, 
Got those for $3.99, some more of my drink mixes. I thought I was completely out of these, but they're actually put down in a bottom cabinet. So technically I didn't need to buy them yet, but we will definitely go through them. They don't go to waste. Everyone loves them. Also picked up some of these for Dakota. That was his one request this week. So I got him the Chester's fries. These Megabyte jalapeno cheddar, $1 for those. I also picked up the wheat thins for a dollar, so that'll be a good afternoon snack with some cheese and deli meat, something like that. The kids also went crazy when they saw that they had these, $3.99 for 12 pack. So, I mean, I don't know what kid doesn't like to have cheese dip, right? They're so good. Actually, I don't like these at all, but when I was little, I loved these, the little breadstick ones. Got more of Malin's little unicorn bars. These are good. Um, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes she'll go to school and eat the whole thing. Other times she comes home with half of it in her lunchbox. So, but those are a fun little treat for her. As well as these little peanut butter and jelly bites. So, got these for her for a dollar a bag. It's strawberry and peanut butter. This is also a really fun dipper snack for the kids. They were debating between this one and the Dunkaroos, but they went ahead and chose the Oreo one. Got those for $1.99. These are actually Dakota's favorite. I love these. These are amazing fruit snacks. Um, Dakota's favorite is a different flavor, but those are still good. And then the kids also chose some fruit roll-ups. Normally $2.99, got them on sale for $1.99, um, but they love these, of course. They're full of sugar and you can make tattoos on your tongue. So win-win, right? Kids heaven. Um, got these oatmeal squares, the peanut butter flavor this time. They're soft by Nature Valley, $1.99 for that. There's six bars in there. And this has 15 bars. Weston said he does like these. I think Dakota enjoys them sometimes too, but this is the trail mix flavor and we paid $3.49 for that. So that is a really good deal. Of course, I will have every price in the description box for you so you can see exactly how much we saved because that's exciting stuff for me. So I thought you might like it too. Um, the Kodiak oatmeal, this has a lot more protein than a normal oatmeal does. So I think it has chocolate and marshmallows in there making it s'mores, but we'll see if it's, if it's really that good. It has, this has eight grams of protein. Of course, you can microwave it, so that's a good option. Weston asked for this Minecraft. He said it's Creeper Crunch instead of Cap'n Crunch, so he's excited to try this. I don't think he realizes it's cinnamon flavored, but it has marshmallows and they're fun, so I think he'll like that. And then this is, you all remember the commercial Mom Approved? I think it said moms love it, kids love it. Life cereal in the cinnamon is one of our favorites as well, so I paid $1.50 for this. Great deal. This was a box of mac and cheese I thought Weston would really enjoy, so I got him the Cheetos brand box of bones. I think 79 cents, 70, yep, 79 cents for that. Picked up some honey. I normally get my honey from Costco, but I really don't know when I'll be back there. And my membership expired this month, so I need to figure out when I'm going back. I gotta renew it. Peanut butter. <laughs> you guys watch The Secret Life of Pets, the dog takes his medicine, ends up in the sky because he had his medicine wrapped in peanut butter. I mean, come on, it's peanut butter. Okay, anyway, moving on. Ketchup, because we need that. We always need that. This one is just made with sugar. It's not made with corn syrup. It's amazing to me that we are the only country that uses corn syrup, I think. They automatically, Heinz automatically uses just sugar everywhere else. But anyway, chicken broth because I needed that for a recipe and I can't remember what recipe, but it was on my list. So I need to remember. I will remember, <laughs> but I needed chicken broth for a recipe. I got the less sodium one and that ladies and gentlemen is our entire grocery haul. So we will uh, move on into the meal plan. Starting with Sunday, instead of going out to eat, I'm actually just going to do some easy slow cooker or instant pot chicken teriyaki. Make some, we'll have it with rice and broccoli. Monday, I wanna do some leftovers. By that point, we'll wanna clean out the fridge again, make some salads. I wanna do burrito bowls on Tuesday, make some nice pico for that. On Wednesday, I wanna do the tikka masala with rice and asparagus. That's just gonna be an easy meal to do before church on Wednesday. Thursday, I'm planning on doing some chicken chili, and instead of just white beans, I'm going to use some black beans too. So we'll have that black and white chicken chili. Friday, we're gonna have dinner at my mom's for our birthday. 
And then Saturday, we're going to have a nacho bar for our birthday party. So hopefully this video gave you some inspiration and you are well on your way to saving hundreds on your own grocery bill. And of course, until the next video, I'll see you in the comments.